right. Well, we've got even some more fun animals as we wrap up Water Week. And Anita Lenahan, owner of Happy Tales Entertainment, is here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Anita, who do you have with you today? This is Tulio, and he is a kinkajou. Oh. Hi, kinka, kinka, kinkajou. You just have a very fun name to say. Right. Now, is he dian diurnal, diurnal or nocturnal? He's very oh, nocturnal, so <laughs> all he wants to do right now is go to sleep. Oh, he go wants to, to sleep. say hello. Oh, he wants oh to hello. Say hi. hi. Yes, you probably smell my, oh. you probably smell savvy. Oh, well, hello. Hi. <laughs> yes. yes, that's the microphone. Oh, my so, goodness. So, how, how good is our eyesight? Because look at those eyes. Uh, he probably sees better at night than he does during the day. Mm -hmm. Of course, his eyes are usually closed during the day, right? Right. Because he's going to sleep all day. These guys are from Central and South America in the uh -huh. rainforests there. Oh. And, um, oh, oh. <laughs> excuse me, um, without even the alpha yeah, cocktail. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they live way high up in the treetops, uh -huh. um, so the jaguars and ocelots can't eat them. And they are natural pollinators. They eat mainly fruit, and when the seeds fall out of their mouth, they pollinate the ground. Oh, oh wow. wow. So is that yeah. why their claws are so sharp is to climb trees, I'm assuming? And yes. And, and as, as he's showing off right there, he's like, yes, I climb. Yes, <laughs> just like this. I climb Anita as well. Look at this tail. It's prehensile. So he can hold on with just his tail. That helps him move around in the trees. Oh, oh. oh look at Andy. Oh, oh hey, oh. And he's, off. He's, he's going down your back. <laughs> yes. yes I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching See? him. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, he's right there. He looks quite comfortable. <laughs> yes. I know. Kinkajus, are they, are they endangered or protected or anything oh, like that? Oh, no. Or? They're uh, on the least concern list. You know, though, you won't usually see kinkajus out in the wild because they stay way up in the trees. They sleep all day unless you're hiking around in the middle of the jungle at night, but they never come down on the ground. Which I would never want to hike around in the jungle at night. <laughs> right? Yeah, right? So I would never see one. This is great. What's their closest relative? They kind of remind me of like a, almost like a mongoose or a, uh, he are is, they? He's related to the raccoon. The raccoon. Oh. He yes. looks mischievous like that, right? Yeah, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. He, he is. He, he's a troublemaker, as you can see. <laughs> But he's, he's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And I think nice we have cute. another animal right? coming on in, right? Uh -oh. Yes. This is Ginger. Ginger. And Hi, Ginger, Ginger is an eight-month-old baby capybara. A capybara. Capybara. She it is the world's largest rodent, and they are found in the swamplands of South America. Oh. Now, look at those feet. Do they swim? Yes. Okay. She's okay. I see. I see the uh -huh. web. The web. The mm -hmm. web. Kind of toes there. And even though she's big right now, she's still very, very young, right? Yes. She'll get the size of a German Shepherd when she's full grown. Wow. The size of a German Shepherd. Yes. Wait. So how old is she right now? Or eight how months. young? Oh, eight months. Eight months. How much she weigh? Give or take. Uh, what is she like? Uh, maybe, 20, no, probably 30? about 35, 40 pounds. 35, wow. 40 pounds. She hides it well. <laughs> <laughs> right? What are your, I must what are your know tits? who you're wearing. Yeah. Now, there you go. Oh, excuse me. It's, a, it's all right. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Kinkajou. Yeah. He, he decided he had to go back to sleep, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to be out anymore. He's like, well, you're not talking about me anymore. I'm going to go hide a little bit. I know, right? <laughs> Now, these guys are diurnal. We talked about the kinkajou being nocturnal. Mm -hmm. That's why he's in my shirt wanting to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. She'll be awake all day, and they sleep all night. Um, and again, they are the world's largest rodent. Right. They did bring these guys into the swamplands of Louisiana to help clear the waterways because they'll eat the coarse uh, swamp grass. Oh. So if you're driving through Louisiana in the swamps, you may see a capybara. And so literally as big as a German shepherd. Yes. I've, I've, that's that's She'll incredible. Wait. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to picture that right now, and that would be a sight to they see. They can weigh 100 to 150 pounds when they're full grown. Wow. Yeah. Now, do they move fast? She can move fast when she wants to. She's uh -huh. probably a better swimmer than she is. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing some yoga. Yeah. Just doing some yoga. <laughs> yeah, she's probably a better swimmer than she is walking around and running on the ground. Okay. And Anita, so how do people book you how, like, to get Happy Tales Entertainment at their event? How does that work? Oh, well, what we can do is you can go to our website, happytalesent.com. There's a contact us page. My phone number's on there. I believe my husband's phone number is on there. And you can call and book. We do birthday parties. We do school programs. <laughs> we do libraries. There's we, never a dull moment. No. <laughs> um, there's my little hedgehog right there. Aww. And uh, we... We have 25 different animals, 20 of which do the programs. They get to interact with pretty much everything that we have. Yeah, and that's not a ringtone. That's an actual duck over here. Yes. That's right. Look at this guy. <laughs> Who do we have here? Well, this is Polo. Hi, Polo. Mar and Marco. Polo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, heard that before. He yeah, he knew that joke already. Yes. And so he is what type of duck? He is called an Indian runner duck. 
an Indian uh -oh. runner duck. Yes, they originated in Indonesia, uh -huh. and but they are now considered a domesticated species here in the United States. Wow. And there are over 100 species of domesticated duck and 100 species of wild duck. Most of your wild ducks are the migratory ducks. Now, does he, does, like, is this pet friendly? Can I, can I, may I pet him? Is oh, yeah, him? but he okay. likes jewelry, so if you pet him, uh, he might uh, pet uh, I've, I've taught him to steal diamonds, but <laughs> it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you guys can touch him. Okay. He's great. He's great. Okay. Let's see. Um, and so his coloring, you know, is, is darker. Well, these guys come in all oh. different colors. That's not like the microphone. Yeah, he's like, I was not prepared to say anything today. This yeah. is not on that's my not, list. That's not in his contract. Yeah, not in his contract. <laughs> Smart duck. They come in black and white and gray. Uh -huh. And some of them have a tuft on the top of their head. Um, the way you can tell he's a male uh -huh. is um, he doesn't have it right now because he just molted, but they have a curly tail feather huh. on their tail, right right about here. Oh, okay. But he must have molted that one off, and it'll regrow. Um, they molt in the spring, just like most, most of your other birds. And, oh, he's coming over. Uh-oh, okay. Kikachu coming back over. <laughs> he's like, I want to be the star. <laughs> um, these guys stand up really straight. Their hips are... The bones in their hips are placed the same way as humans are. Where are other ducks, they're turned a different way, and that's why they waddle. Oh, so so is that why? So when he moves, it looks like he's running kind of like a human. Yes. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Great stuff from Anita Lena, an owner of Happy Tales Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here and bringing Polo and... Tulio. Tulio, oh, yeah. the kinkajou. Oh, my goodness. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.